everybody. Another uh, filming. Christ. Another soap making video. This time we're making the nook and it's in this box here. I actually gelled this yesterday again. I gelled the last one that I made, so I've done it again. And it's in here. And it looks mad bad. I'm just going to show you. And if you want to see how this one was made, then stay tuned. It's a really, really nice, simple soap. Um, there you go. See the whole thing. So, yeah, if you want to see how this one was made, then stay tuned and then I'll come back and show you the cut. Okay, let's get the lye into the oils. So, this one, I'm going to put my clay in now. I'm just using some kaolin in this, no uh, titanium dioxide, no colours, just the clay. I'm going to put that in now. And also, I have some vanilla seeds, and these are exhausted vanilla seeds, which are vanilla seeds that have been used in cookery and then cast to the side. And it's a lot cheaper to use these in soap than it is to actually use vanilla seeds, obviously, because they're very, very expensive. Okay, I'm going to stick blend this up, and I'm just going to catch that in my blender. you can see those speckles you should be able to maybe catching on the side of here see the vanilla so the vanilla doesn't have a scent it's already been used in cooking so it's everything that was used for is being used but um you do get that nice effect in the soap so it's great absolutely great Okay, now I'm going to pour my fragrance in. Now this, I'm going to, just, uh, take that. I'm going to use my spatula to put this scent in. So Nanook is a really nice blend of vanilla and frankincense. There's a few other bits in there, but it's got like a... I wanted it to smell like dog fur. <laughs> Clean dog fur, but with a vanilla-y sort of, you know, finish. So a nice warm scent and safe, make you feel safe, because that's what the Nook's role is in the film, to take care of uh, Sam. <laughs> so we're just going to stir this. to pour it and on the top of this one so it's a plain bar with the vanilla seeds and on the top of it we're just going to have some black eyed beans and some black salt so black eyed beans for the eye of the dog the eye of Nanook and then the black salt as protection from the head vampire this hoard. Nice and steady so we don't get air bubbles. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, now I just need to scrape out the rest. Now you can see the seeds in the bottom of there. Like, well, I, I can see them. I don't know if you can, but I can definitely see those vanilla seeds in there.
Okay. Make sure we don't waste any of that batter. And also, it makes for a much better cleanup at the end. I just usually tissue them out before I put the, everything in the dishwasher. I'm always getting asked to show a video of my cleanup, but it's quite simple. I just tissue everything out with some kitchen paper and then I put it in the dishwasher and that's it. Okay, now. Clean up a little bit. And then I need to mark out my bits where I want that line of salt to go. So I'm just going to mark out 10 spaces with this soap here. Do a little texturing, not too much. Just do a little bit. Just gentle because these soaps are going to be in boxes and I don't want the tops to be too heavy and too textured otherwise they won't go into the boxes. So I'm just being uh, careful. But I want a little bit of texture on the tops because it just makes them look a bit better really, I think. And then this one there, this one bar, two bars, three bars, and a block. Okay, now black eyed beans. Just going to pop them onto the table. And take my gloves off to do this so excuse that but I can't pick them up with those gloves on so I'm going to do it like this and I want one in each bit one eye I think when I uh, I used to be able to change my assessments years ago when Scott was still alive and I'd write to him and he would let me sort of change bits and pieces and add things on for a fee and um, I think you probably thought black eyed beans what on earth are you doing with those when I asked to put these on <laughs> you must have been like what the hell is she doing now <laughs> if I use them in oh you little blighter hold on I use them in um just go with that one outlets and soap they work really well for that because that's like a sort of a autumnal soap and they just really work with that one but that's the only other soap I've ever used them for but I just when I made this one first I decided to use them on here as well because they look cool and I wanted Nunuk's eye it's just a bit of a pain getting them on because I want that eye part to be in view Salt's a lot easier to just sprinkle that down, but you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. So make sure I've got them right. That would be awful. I'll take those off. That one's gone up the wrong way. I'll just take that off. It's going to do my head in. Hang on. Let me remove you. Remove you, little bean. Stick another one on. So just push that across again and put it up the right way. Go. Smells really 
really, really good. I think last year it wasn't one of the popular ones. Everybody wanted the Head Vampire and Star. But each year I always get surprised by which one is the most popular. So I was going to do... I didn't actually make this soap last year because the previous year it just didn't really sell very well. It did go, but um, people weren't as interested in this one as they were in the others. So I missed it last year. But this year I thought, you're coming back because I know what people are like. If I don't do it, they'll want it. But at least I'll want it, so uh, the look, I love you, even if nobody else does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, because once you stop and you take something away from people, they're like, where is it? <laughs> it's just always the way. Okay, let's get this out of the mold. So the thing about having the lid on it, made it more exciting to come and open it up today. <laughs> it's the little things. Sometimes, I think when things are so monotonous, you just uh, become a bit um, complacent with what you do, you know. But actually, doing that yesterday, I was like, oh, we'll see how that turns out. It could be quite interesting. So you can really, really see the vanilla speckles in there now. I'm just going to trim the edges. So it's nice and clean down the sides. Get like all these pieces of soap stuck on there. Take those off. So these, I've just been designing the labels for these Lost Boys soaps, and they're all going to be in boxes with the label wrapped around the box and the wax seal. So they'll look really nice for the whole collection. I just wanted to change it up a bit and use a box. So I've ordered those, the ones that I need. And I'm actually switching my whole range over to boxes. I buy the boxes from a company called Tiny Box Company. And they've got all different coloured soap boxes. Now it does add quite a bit of a cost to the packaging, but... You can either swallow that or you can up the price of the soap, you know. Just by a little bit, it's a little margin really, but it just makes it a little bit more luxurious for when people open the packages. I always like my customers to feel like they're getting a nice gift, so yeah, it's, it's important. Okay, so let's get those cut on the sides and hope that I've got my black eyed peas in the right place because that would be disastrous for cutting on a multi-wire. If they weren't, I don't want those going through this, gonna, that's a surefire way to break a wire of a cutter. <laughs> okay, so I can tell that I've used kale and it's got that nice sort of um, creamy kind of look to the soap, definitely different as opposed to not using the clay or anything like that. The trick is to not use too much clay because if you use too much, you can hinder the lathering capabilities of, its, of the soap. So I did use a teaspoon per pound, but you probably get away with half a teaspoon per pound. You don't really need that much. I have found that when I've used a lot more, this looks nice, when I've used a lot more, it has had an effect on the soap's lathering ability. So. Bear that in mind, if you want to use clays in your soaps, you don't need too much. So this get cut into three chunks of soap. Do that pattern. God, this smells so good. It's um, very similar to another soap that I make called Ghost Smoke, but it's got more of an incense note in there. So Ghost Smoke's like a vanilla, like a rich, smoky vanilla, and this one has got a bit of that, and then additional oils. So it's got fir needle and frankincense and it's just lovely, absolutely lovely. Okay. And I'll just cut one of these again so you can see what the individual bar looks like because it's not that interesting, it's just a, a nice, wholesome looking soap. Move my chair. And here we go. 
side again so you can see. Okay, let's line this up then. I think, I think that will be the piece where I get a sample in the end. So it should go straight through there. Okay, cut through there, like that, I've got an extra large chunk on one end. Just pop that over there a minute. So I'll show you a couple of these. So they are plain inside, apart from the vanilla seeds, which you could probably see in there, and then the salt and the black eyed bean on the top. So they look nice. They look really, really nice. And they smell incredible. I can really, really smell the frankincense in this one. Quite strong. So yeah, nice Nanook. Nanook. I'm going to have to watch that film soon, you know. Now I've got in the zone. I'm going to have to stick the Lost Boys on. I think a Saturday afternoon is actually a perfect time to watch it. So let's cut one more loaf. That one might be a bit different this time. I'm going to have to chop off an end piece. Right. Turn it around so I can actually see those beans a bit easier. Through there, there. Yeah, it's this end that needs to be chopped then. Okay. Oops. That needs to be done in a minute. Alright, so that is Nanook. I'll be back for some more. I think I've got about three more to do for this for this range, so I'll try and film those so you can see the whole process of this collection. Alright, I'll see you soon. Ta-ta!